A small recording studio in Manila, capital of the Philippines. Local voice actors are dubbing a Turkish TV drama into English. When the man finishes namaz, the shady person said, Give me your blessing, for I took your robe and I disturbed you. This Filipino voice production firm was hired by an American streaming service to dub the content for English-speaking markets. If the heart reaches the mystery, then it will have everything. Actors are paid around 50 U.S. dollars for the main role the in a two-hour movie. It's an attractive fee in the Philippines, where average monthly wages are around $330. Let me explain my desire to my shape. You will know the best. I can already smell the scent of flowers! Hooray! It is obvious that you're looking to excuse your imprudence. This kind of work is on the rise for voice production firms in the Philippines, as high-speed internet makes it easier than ever to transfer audio and visual data across borders. Attention, all voice actors. Another key factor is the country's high standard of English. In the Philippines, English is as common as Tagalog, and both are official languages. It's taught from the first year of elementary school, and many lessons are conducted in English. English is also used in official documents and newspapers. This voice production firm was an early adopter of online work. Open your mouth, mic. Go in your favorite sound na animal nyo. Go, go. Open your mic. CEO Pocholo Gonzalez is a highly successful Filipino voice artist. You just focus on what you love and use technology on your own advantage and to help more people to become creative. The only way you will be happy is to be creative. An established voice actor can earn a very good income, and many young Filipinos dream of taking up voice acting as a career. But most actors can only land low-paying supporting roles and find it hard to make ends meet. Some, however, are willing to bet on the future and work their way up. I love creating uh, special memories, timeless memories. Pocholo and his young actors are leveraging the power of the internet to leave their mark on the entertainment world. The city of Makati lies to the southeast of Manila. Voiceover production firm Creative Voices stands a little way off from the cluster of skyscrapers. This singer is a young voice acting trainee who has been asked to demonstrate his skills. The firm's 13 employees are all voice actors, including the directors and sound engineers. CEO Pocholo Gonzalez is a voice acting legend, often called the master of a thousand voices. A local radio station is doing a live broadcast. Pocholo is joining online as a guest. Lady Eliza. Well, the DJ asks what he loved as a child. Yung napapakinggan ko, Yusek, ganito yung isang gabi ng logim. Aw! 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 Ayan. Tapos, si Utoy at si Lolo Tasio ay naligaw sa kugubat. Ha? Lolo Tasio, ang sarap maglaro sa puno. Eh, naku, sabi ko naman sa'yo, apo, eh, wag ka maglaro dyan. Yan, tuloy, ginabi tayo. Ha? Lolo, may gumagalaw. <laughs> Sino kayo? Kakainin ko kayo! <laughs> ah, Lolo, 
Pocholo is especially gifted at monsters, demons, and other bombastic characters. His gifts allow him to play multiple roles in a single production. Magaling akong gumuhit ng larawan! Kapan ako naman? Walang ganunan, Vicky? Huwag mo nga akong binabaligtad, ha? Pag napuno ako sa'yo, baka ma... He's appeared in thousands of works, both in English and Tagalog. And then I put myself on online. I put my voice online and I became the most sought-after Filipino voice talent on the internet until now. 80% of his company's work comes from abroad. His team takes the scripts and footage of foreign movies and dramas and dubs them into English. They then edit the recordings to fit the visuals and send the data to the client over the internet. The firm has clients in 80 countries, particularly English-speaking countries such as the US and Australia. They have over 200 active voice actors. Look no further than Creative Voices Productions, the premier choice for a digital audio and voice. Pocholo opted to launch his own production company because he was unhappy with the Filipino voice talent industry. A childhood fan of radio dramas, Pocholo won a voice acting contest at 16. He began to land more and more jobs, but it wasn't all smooth sailing. Voice acting and dubbing, advertising in the Philippines is like a mafia. At the time, the world of voice acting was dominated by the children and protégés of major acting stars. Talent played little part in landing roles. Pocholo was considered a rival by many and was subject to baseless rumors. He says that radio and TV bosses were pressured to deny him work. Only relatives are there. Son, wife, daughter, everybody's re related to each other. And I hate that. I want to elevate the voice acting industry to become a voice acting artistry. An industry help each other, not pull down each other. Pocholo founded Creative Voices in 2005 to give talented actors a fair chance. He and his fellow directors launched it with just $200 and a single microphone. They wanted to distance themselves from the local industry, looking instead online for international work. Along with his new company, Pocholo also opened a school for voice acting. It began with in-person classes, but since the pandemic, Teaching is now done online, connecting with students across the country. Three, two, one, go. The stakes are high, and the action is even higher. Get ready for the ride of the life. Pocholo and six graduates teach the four-part course, which is held from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturdays. It normally costs around $90, those students with disabilities attend for free. Alam niyo ba na ang boses ninyo ang pinakamahalagang instrumento na meron kayo? At ang speech ang nagsasabi kung ano ang nararamdaman mo, anong nasa isip mo, ano ang gusto mo mangyari sa buhay. Over 3,500 people have studied at the school. Once they complete their course, they can register with Pocholo's production firm if they wish. Some freshly graduated voice actors have gathered today to practice in the studio. They're preparing to audition for a new radio drama. Right, because the good thing about these projects. 
It's still caricaturish. Ralph is an experienced actor and director. He and Pocholo are here to coach. They practice with a 40-minute locally produced animated story. The main character is a taciturn boy who adores his grandfather. Shunned by the neighborhood children, his only friend is a cat. The actor will read the grandfather's lines. In the story, some oil catches fire and spreads to some dry leaves. The grandfather tries frantically to douse the flames. Sorry. <laughs> don't run because the vibrations yung pag stump mo will be heard on the microphone. The microphone is sensitive. While carrying water, the grandfather mistakenly treads on the kitten and it is killed. You're already crying. So, lang, you're already crying for Kuting, whereas you shouldn't be. You're worried for the kid, not for the Kuting. The acting course is only four Saturdays of studying, barely enough to learn the basics. Graduates still need to hone their skills to have a chance at a successful audition. It's not unusual for some to give up on voice acting before making their debut. Okay. Oh, good. Wrap up. Wrap up. Good job. Pochology and walas. Walang tao nagsimula magaling. Naging magaling. Ay na wat. Nagsimula lang kaya naging magaling. Oh, tayo magaling tayo kung si simula na. All right. This aspiring actor graduated three years ago. Today, he works at Pocholo's production studio while pursuing his goal of making it big. 19-year-old JJ arrives early every morning to open up the studio. He cleans, powers up the equipment, and waits for the senior staff. JJ is from a small fishing town on the outskirts of Manila. His father passed away when he was young, and his mom runs a small general store. JJ chose voice acting because of the potential to earn a high income, which he could use to help his mom. Good morning. Good morning, sir. JJ trains alongside coach and voice actor Brian, who graduated a year before him. They share an apartment close to the studio. Pocholo pays for their food and rent. Just a simple room. Uh, uh, there's where Kuya Bry is sleeping. And this is where I sleep. Here. <laughs> We're sleeping with my puppet. <laughs> the bedroom is just 10 square meters. The apartment has no bath, so they shower at work. Uh, for the very first time, I got my salary or fee only 500 pesos. In that money, I was so happy. <laughs> so, dati po kasi, sobrang maraming flood, sobrang binabaha talaga sa lugar namin. And then, after that, na nakuha ko yung ganong salary, sabi ko, Ma, I will help you. Uh, tutulungan kita na maipagawa yung house natin para 
kahit papaan hindi na kayo maapektuhan ng baha, at the same time, uh, magiging komportable kayo dyan sa bahay natin. JJ has appeared in over a hundred minor roles in TV dramas and movies. It is obvious that you're looking to excuse your imprudence. This has nothing to do with the rent. Expressing emotions with the voice alone is difficult enough in Tagalog. It's even harder when the role is in English. You've been there. 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 Brand. Pocholo praises JJ's sincere dedication and positivity. However, he feels his student could improve when it comes to his acting abilities. So when you do voice acting, at least you have already felt it before because you cannot convey it if you didn't feel hurt before, you didn't cry. Or Voice acting is the art of becoming, so scripts are meant to be said, not to be read. JJ may have earned top marks at the school, but it's still a long road to the top. <laughs> Pocholo believes that diverse experience is vital for the training of young actors. JJ and others head out on a visit to a local elementary school. Pocholo has been holding free volunteer shows for kids for over a decade. Hi, kids. Good morning. Hi. They start with a popular American cartoon. We're here in San Joaquin Elementary School. Where is my Krabby Patty? Next, a puppet show by JJ. Kapag malaki ka na, anong gusto mong gawin pag laki mo? Katulad ni Nino. Ako ay ka sing laki ni. Hay si Kuya Box. Hay, ba ganya ganya ka laki. Kapag kasing laki mo na si Kuya Box, anong gagawin mo? Magtatayet. <laughs> JJ and the younger actors rarely have the chance to interact with young children. It helps them improve any children's roles they might play, but also offers insights into how to appeal to a young audience online. Ano ba kaya mong talent? Taking part in Pocholo's voice acting school has changed the lives of some students. Today, they're holding a special in-person class. Manette Mahinay is known as the first blind voice actor in the Philippines. Pocholo asked her to talk to the students about how she overcame various challenges to succeed as a professional. as visually impaired? Because, you have to, if you're not visually impaired, uh, I'm listening my scripts through my phone. Kung baga, doon ko siya binabasa. And then, katulad ng ginagawa ni Direct Alan, ibabato niya sa iyong linya or ng mga directors. Tapos sasabihin mo siya agad, with feelings. Yes. <laughs> with with his ideas and the director's um, perseverance and my uh, co-workers also who helped me, it had become possible um, <laughs> Hello everyone! Yeah, I might seem a bit tiny, but I can do a lot of voices. Like this one. Or I can also sound like an AI. Open, door, doors closing. <laughs> In addition to dubbing work, 
Monette also appears in online radio dramas. <laughs>18 months ago, she made the big decision to focus on voice acting. Until then, Manette had only left her home to work. Voice acting has inspired her to become more proactive, and she now heads out alone no matter where she's going. If not for his ideas, that a blind could do this, could do dubbing, despite all the odds, despite the challenge of syncing the mouth and syncing the sound. It's very challenging, but he made it possible because he believed in me. I know I have to, or I needed to learn a bit more, and uh, there's always a room for learning. Today, Pocholo devotes all the time and energy he has free to training young actors. This pivot was inspired by the darkest moment of his life, which he faced in 2022. He suddenly lost his voice. A visit to the hospital revealed that he had developed polyps on his vocal cords. Doctors told him that there was a chance he'd never speak again. Too much abuse of my voice. For the past 30 years, I've been using it, abusing it, using and abusing it at the same time. I feel so sad and depressed. <laughs> and I felt a lot of pain and suffering. Undergoing an operation carried the danger of changing the quality of his voice. So Pocholo chose rest and recuperation instead. He was forced to turn down work and wait in the hope that the polyps would shrink. I pray one day it will come back. So once it's come back, I will share my voice for free to people to make them happy, to make them better, to inspire and motivate them to help more people. Although his voice has begun to recover, he feels it may never return to its original state. Pocholo's main focus now is to pass on the techniques and experience he has acquired to new actors. He hopes to communicate the heart of his artistry. Today, he's holding a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with JJ, who has an audition coming up. <coughs> Gumawa sila ng kasinungalingan upang usigin ang aking ama sa kanyang libingan! Hindi ko na matitiis. Okay, ulit tayo ha, kasi huwag ka munang sumigaw. Okay pa. I-feel mo muna yung gigil. Dapat mabagal ka muna. Diba? Ngayon nyo sabihin sa akin kung kasalanan ba na ipagtanggol ko ang aking ama hanggang sa kanyang libingan! Okay. Medyo bigatan mo ha. Yung huwag kang sumigaw, masisira boses mo. Yung pigil lang. Kasalanan bang? Ganun. Okay pa. Hanggang yung gigil, dapat maramdaman ko yung galit. Sige. Okay ka na. Sikat ka na niya. Wala kang marinig na ganyang acting ako lang. So gusto ko, Ay, pasa yan sa inyo, balang araw. 
Kasi hindi ko na siya kayang gawin ngayon dahil hindi na ako ganun ka... Kumbaga sa basketball, hindi ko na kaya mag-dunk katulad na kaya kong gawin before. Yan na yan. Okay? The coaching continues late into the night. Pocello is concerned about a major voice acting rival that threatens his students' futures. Artificial intelligence. Over the last few years, it's been used in music, narration, and even dubbing. It doesn't matter how good your voice is, but if you have a bad attitude and you have a, you want money, I'd rather choose the AI. Pocholo has bought AI-powered voice synthesis software to see what it is capable of. Hi, Kumiko. My name is Sarah. I just want to say you are beautiful too. I am not a girl, but I sound like a girl. The AI can use a single person's voice to create countless roles, regardless of gender. Hi, Kumiko. My name is Sara. I just want to say you are beautiful too. I am not a girl, but I sound like a girl. Okay, hello, great day. But Pacholo believes that a voice actor who can put their personality and experiences into their performances will never be eclipsed by AI. Human, deep human touch is still uh, needed, like what we are doing now. We cannot eliminate human by uh, AI because human emotion cannot be replaced. Yeah. Many, many. Experiencing the joys and hardships of life, in body and soul, is what makes a good voice actor. Pocholo firmly impresses this belief upon his young students.